uh, so having said that, I find it problematic. Maybe it's not a problem for you as an anchor, but I find it problematic. Okay. And all I'd say is, you are defending what they're doing right now. You are actually justifying some taxation. You should probably go on social media. The hardcore supporters of the Bharatiya Janata Party are upset with this point. If it's talking about the poor, is over. It's being so irresponsible about fiscal consolidation. When they do away with corporate loans and they waiver of they waive of these loans, that's not fiscal consolidation issue. The fiscal consolidation issue only comes in when we're talking about farmers, when we're talking about the poor, when we're talking about bringing okay. money and. You know, the finance minister said in parliament that even when our government wasn't in power and other parties were, the finance minister would never mention every state and what allocations being made for every state. Uh, that as is always the case, there are state-specific allocations for all states, including Maharashtra from where you come, and therefore there is nothing amiss in the manner in which she presented the budget. That's the argument. No, I'm not going to be going on the basis of their argument and what their minister has to say to defend herself. I will speak for what Maharashtra, as an MP from Maharashtra uh, in the Rajya Sabha, I'm going to speak for what we were expecting of Maharashtra, for Maharashtra. And having said that, we did not want her to name any of the states. You are a union minister of India. You're the finance minister of India. You're not the finance minister of Bihar or Andhra Pradesh because you've repeatedly took their name. We didn't ask you to take all these names. When, you, when a finance minister of India speaks, she speaks for whole of India. She speaks about, if she has one rupee in her kitty, she ensures that one rupee is well spread out. So that whichever state needs more handholding will be given to them. Whichever state needs maybe lesser handholding will be allocated to them. Not on the basis of politics, but on the basis of equity. That is where I come from and that is what the argument has been with most of the opposition. That some states were favoured simply because at this point in time, they were facing a challenge from their own alliance partners about declaring either Andhra Pradesh and Bihar as a special state. And a special status that they get would have helped them in the future uh, development projects that were to come. Because central government puts in more money than the state government, but that was denied to them. And when, she, when, when uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you'll make an argument about what B, uh, Rabdi Devi ji is saying, she's actually right. That instead of a special status, you'll have agreed not even on a special package, some, some, you know, uh, some, some money allocated to y'all. 120,000 crore was the package, special package that Prime Minister Modi had promised to the people of Bihar about 8 to 10 years back. What happened to that? You could have at least matched up to that. Nothing else. Oh, again, now I shall repeat and continue to repeat. The problem is that this is for perhaps the first time in the history of India that a union minister has shown discriminatory tactics so that her, she feels that she has contributed and done a huge service to her government by ensuring that this becomes Pradhan Mantri Sarkar Bachao Yojana. Okay. Now, uh, not, not that we're asking her to take all the names, but at least ensure there's equitable uh, income spread. It's not about what has been allocated in the budget to the states. It's about trying to build a political narrative by claiming victimhood, by claiming that Haryana got nothing, Maharashtra got, Jhar Jharkhand got nothing. Now, this is really being done by the opposition with an eye on uh, the assembly elections because very obviously the opposition is not going to stand up and say, oh, our fiscal deficit is coming down from 5.1 to 4.9. More bond money is going to come into India. This is fantastic because we are now joining the global bond markets. You're not going to praise the budget for anything it does and therefore you're just looking for the best opportunity to attack it and this suits you. Now, uh, Rahul, I think this budget, uh, the two people said, is all about policy failures and the lack of policy implementation by the government. And yes, uh, uh, after 10 years, and do we do have our data. Uh, so job creation, somebody talked about. Uh, how are you going to do that? Uh, uh, your skill development ministry, that means, needs to be abolished because uh, the direct theme, uh, which you are being very proud of announcing, is that you, over five years, you are going to skill one crore uh, workers in the 500 companies. You know? That's about 4,000 people uh, uh, per year. Uh, when we look at joblessness, and your own economic survey reveals uh, that 50% uh, or 51% of undergraduates are not job worthy. So there is something wrong in the system uh, or uh, systemic failures that you cannot even uh, uh, have an education system which actually equips your students to be ready for the challenges and uh, to make them uh, um, get ready for secure jobs. You said that agriculture, uh, data, uh, you're saying you allocated 1.5 lakh crores. So now that is a decline from 2019 to 20, and especially in the post-COVID period when agricultural distress is real. Uh, uh, agriculture has declined. The growth in agriculture has declined to 1.7 from 4.7 or something. Uh, so what is the booster you're giving to agriculture? Uh, what is uh, the guarantee or even the support you're going to give the farmers to even attain MSP? How are they going to re uh, get their input costs, recover, make okay. profit? So let's spend a moment on that, Shazad, because we MSMs. saw Rahul Gandhi also go out yeah. and meet leaders from the Kisan Morcha. Uh, they seem to be planning another big agitation now. It will have an impact on Haryana by not naming, mentioning Haryana, giving it some special treatment like you gave for Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. Is the BJP running the race of letting the opposition build this mahal? 
हरियाणा के किसानों को कुछ नहीं मिला महाराष्ट्र इज नॉट नथिंग बेंगाल इज क्लेमिंग विक्ट्रम झारखंड एज एन इलेक्शन महाराष्ट्र लेट मी टेक दिस एंड गिव सम फैक्ट्स इन 2012 2013 2014 द एवरेज एलोकेशन फॉर महाराष्ट्र वाज 15000 करोड़ टुडे इट इज 78000 करोड़ टुडे इट इज 76000 करोड़ पोर्ट देयर इज 8500 करोड़ ऑफ स्पेशल प्रोजेक्ट्स देयर इज 8 लाख करोड़ ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट आर गोइंग ऑन एंड देयर इज अनदर 36000 करोड़ ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अनवील इन जुलाई जस्ट रिसेंटली बट हैविंग सेड दैट व्हाई डजंट दिस गेट कम्युनिकेटेड एड्रेसिंग रजत्स पॉइंट आई एम अ नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द बीजेपी आई हैव एक्चुअली डन वीडियोस आई हैव सेंट इट टू ऑल द जर्नलिस्ट स्पेशली आल्सो ऑन दिस चैनल बट इट डज नॉट रन क्या क्या बोला तूने the job uh, issue let me come to that as well the gujarat video went very viral this channel also showed it rahul i don't uh, fault you for that but i sent this channel and other channels how jharkhand spos were beaten up how jharkhand shiksha teachers who were jo- demanding jobs were beaten up in telangana okay. people who were okay. demanding so i, I hear what you're saying your, your, your charge is that there is not a word of not a word of koi sense hai baat see and selectivism and let pranka chaturvedi respond you're picking on the bjp because you're trying to build a political narrative around it that's really what this is down to there is nothing else this is just rank politics there's no larger good that you are seeking this is just pure political opportunism priyanka chaturvedi no bjp can keep alleging what they want to allege but the fact of the matter is that when we were seeking the kanjur mar uh, land the salt pan lands for the metro car share to ensure that metro forest is not de- uh, the the ra jungles are not destroyed it was blocked by the supreme court because we were in power at that time uh, uh, blocked by the government of india at that time piyush goel ji took it to the supreme court and blocked that takeover now what is happening the same part of land and parcel of land is being handed over to adani under the garb of dhara re- redevelopment project and ari forest stands destroyed thanks to whatever they have done and all the development that is going on around that so having said that you know that hypocrisy i, I don't need to selectively pick and choose where we are seeing bharatiya janata party do what they want they are blocking funds of west bengal they are blocking funds of tamil nadu they they blocked even the gst collections of maharashtra when we were in power they blocked vaccines coming to us we had more population than gujarat but it was blocked gift city has gone to uh, 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 gujarat ifsc has gone to gujarat the uh, the headquarters of cement factories have moved to gujarat surat diamond the diamond board that was the mainstay of mumbai was was taken away to gujarat it's just another fact that surat is not conducive for their businesses that's why they're returning back i can name many other states okay you can pick and choose the data you want right <laughs> Okay so Rahul Gandhi meeting these farmers yes Juhi Singh there are elections in Haryana in a few weeks from now but the calculations which were done by agricultural economists it cost more than 10 lakh crore rupees to give a legal uh, guarantee on MSP for these 23 crops which is a lot of money which isn't available in any case uh, we have commitments to fiscal responsibility a lot rides on it internationally and domestically on that now to what extent will the opposition go in an attempt to court important vote banks like farmers but by being financially irresponsible in the central message of the modi government budget was they were being conservative they were being responsible it seems the opposition is willing to be profligate in the hope that it will get them some votes is peshe ko kiri kehte hain rahul i think the government has just introduced the long term capital gains tax and without uh, giving the benefit of indexing so is the government in economic distress that they have to raise money uh, in this way that's the first they didn't introduce a long term capital gains tax it was reduced from 20% uh, yeah, to 12 yeah, and a half percent indexation in real estate uh, was sir, done uh, the report with uh, uh, let me correct you uh, or maybe just uh, add to you nirmala sitaraman i think said that when she consulted people uh, uh, only 13.5% would benefit by indexing the whole thing uh, so it was just dropped so i think maybe the report could be shared by the parliament whom she consulted and the second thing is of course there is discrimination uh, the but this i just want to correct you because you were saying you were correcting me they didn't introduce a new they didn't introduce a new long term capital gains tax on real estate was brought down from 20% to 12 and a half percent chal chuta and indexation was so done away with indexing why not why don't i get the benefit for holding my property where is the indexing why do away with that so you want more tax and the second thing of course is infrastructure development we had focus is on infrastructure development so why the buddhist circuit in up has been ignored kushinagar airport just just one flight we built it the prime minister reinaugurated it uh, shravasti sarnath no allotment uh, so the buddhist circuit exists only in states sir, which are their alliance partners i think up uh, can probably be ignored and uh, the um, other thing which is extremely important is that what are you doing to address uh, the um, food inflation uh, the um, uh, finance minister just addressed it and walked past it so when we talk of fiscal responsibility when we talk of economic responsibility then please address uh, what you are allocating and how much budget have you used shehzad punawala says niyat mein khote no matter what the chai wala prime minister does the opposition will find some reason to find fault and this is something they just need to deal with they've gone out knowing that haryana that bihar and andhra pradesh allocations may get targeted because they want to send that message 
and in any case you would have found some other reason to attack them so they're saying okay game on no firstly i find it very problematic that you as an anchor continue to say that we are trying to find faults you don't find any fault you don't find a fault with what uh, juhi ji was saying doing away with indexation and you talking about ltcg coming down from that's a very to complex to argument i'm actually I mean, I all for simplifying taxes man one second just, indexation no, is also a way of finding a loophole and creating uncertainty at the price at which a real estate asset is sold a clear simple rate of tax isn't necessarily a bad thing they've also uh, made taxation across different kinds of assets uniform at 12 and a half percent which again isn't bad why should a particular financial asset yes. get tax advantage over some other asset okay ab to sad bol de okay okay priyanka now if i can complete thank yes, you please. so much right uh, if i can complete thank you so much uh, so having said that i find it problematic maybe it's not a problem for you as an anchor but i find it problematic okay and all i'd say is you are defending what they are doing right now you are actually justifying some taxation you should probably go on social media the hardcore supporters of the bharatiya janata party are upset with this point having said that you said uh, the congress government and india alliance is willing to do away with fiscal deficit uh, you know targets just to please a certain section is that what you said to do away to 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 uh, give away welfare schemes and promote uh, talk about the minimum support price while uh, the, on the other hand shehza punawala is discussing about how farmer lives and incomes have Can got better under them So what is the confusion? I think we firstly we need to understand wh- why okay. is it that only Bharatiya yeah, Janata Party can look at a f- uh, you know a fiscal consolidation while okay. the other party, okay. if it's talking about the poor, is oh is being so irresponsible about fiscal consolidation. When they do away with corporate loans and they waiver of they waive of these loans, that's not fiscal consolidation issue. The fiscal consolidation issue only comes in when we're talking about farmers, when we're talking about the poor, when we're talking about bringing okay. money and ensuring corporate that there's no private corruption. Corporate loans were not done away with. To, that is actually wrong. wrong. What was reduced so instead was corporation tax. Funny. Corporate so tax much. was reduced. Tax and loan are two different things. Anyway, we're getting stuck in an argument which has no end. I think the government has spoken. The oh opposition God, has spoken. One line. I will leave it to our viewers to decide what they make of this. You've heard from different points you of view. You are saying loans, loans. The ba- NPAs have not been waived off. NPAs have no, not been waived off. That is actually incorrect, you, madam. Are we, are the, we talking the, that? The IDCs have been caught in a very long debate. Let Rajat Sethi respond very briefly. Rajat, the floor of the house said that 1.5 lakh crore rupees was used to ignore every fact that is stated. Haircut and 90 percent haircut. IBC ma'am Priyanka madam IBC data was put on the floor of the house okay we we'll, we'll just have to call the participants back for another debate aro kya hua kuch muh mein ghuseda uske baad gale ko udher ke naak se bahar nikala उसके बाद मेरी भक्ति गुल हो गई अब बताइए मैं क्या करूंगा एक बहुत सिंपल सी टिप आपके साथ शेयर करती हूँ अपने हाथ को इस तरह कैसे रखिए इफ यू लुक एट दिस फ्रॉम योर साइड आपका लेफ्ट हैंड आपको बी के जैसे दिखेगा और राइट हैंड आपको डी के जैसे दिखेगा बी एंड डी बी को थोड़ी मदद रखिए मन पर आ।